Blessings, my brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters in Facebook. I just want to come on and give you a word, encourage you. And, you know, I, one thing I want to share with you on spiritual warfare. And, man, a lot of times we, we, we fight the devil on, on the ground, on the turf he puts us in. And he established himself and he positioned himself. He, he established himself to have leverage over you on the same platform that he wants you to come down to. Understand? I want to share something with you. I remember Matthew 8, chapter 8. Jesus was in the boat. The storm came. And uh, this is important because the storm came. And we talk about fishermen, people that were experienced seasoned fishermen, like experienced Christians. Experienced Christians. Remember, experienced Christians. That you experience. You've been through many storms. You've been through many trials. The disciples on the boat. They were fishermen. That was their career. They were. There was experienced fishermen. They seen storms. They seen waves. They seen. You know, the boat go side to side. They seen all these things. But there was one storm that came that shook them to the core. There's a trial that will come. There's a testing that will come. There's a. There's a, an attack that will come that will shake you to the core. And you know, and Jesus is in the boat but at the time we know jesus is in your life and at times we don't feel him we pray and we we like we like the we like the brother job i pray and i look to my right he wasn't there i look to my left and he wasn't there and one thing i want to share with you in the fight of, of 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 you on spiritual warfare i thank god for the opportunity that i'm able to to do e-courses on spiritual warfare to disciple i love discipling brothers and sisters man that is my heart to disciple you on spiritual warfare the gift that god has given me to pour it out to the body of christ amen and one thing in the boat jesus was in the back of the boat we know the story matthew 8 jesus was sleeping in the back of the boat with no care in the world because jesus is always in control of what's going on here and there and everywhere in your life and listen this is the key that i want you to catch man this is what i want you to catch in your spirit this is the amazing thing that jesus was in the boat the disciples were yelling they were screaming they was panicking and we've been in that situation when we get hit with something that is so horrific we get hit with something with god why you let it happen god why why what's going on lord i pray i fast the lord i i where am i going through this and it's that one thing that will shake you to the court is that one thing man that would want the devil want to use to paralyze you to weaken you to shut you up and shut you down still your anointing still your purpose and your destiny but one thing i'm going to teach you today i want to show you today jesus did something incredible when he got off the boat when he got off his sleep amen jesus the bible said that the, he said peace be still. In other words, this is what I'm, I want to teach you in this moment. I want you to catch this in your spirit. Peace, be still. Jesus didn't speak to the waves. He didn't, he didn't speak to the wind. He spoke to the atmosphere. And, and, you know, at times we fight the devil here. And we need to speak to the atmosphere of what that devil is being controlled. But that demon is being controlled. He's taking orders from principalities up in the atmosphere against you. Strategies against you. Uh, he, wiles and schemes against you from the atmosphere. Second heaven. You need to shut that devil down from up here. Shut him down. Don't get in the ring with him here. Don't don't let him pull you down here. You deal with that devil up here in the name of Jesus. Shut down the atmosphere. Jesus said, be peace, be still to the atmosphere. And everything stopped because the Lord knew how to take care of the storm. The Lord knew how to fight these devils. And a lot of times we fight the devil from down here. And the devil's that demon that has been assigned to you, that demon that been orchestrated, that demon that has a strategy, that demon is well organized because the Bible said that the kingdom of darkness is not divided. They run in ranks. They run in order. That demon has an assignment against you, but he knows he ha he has to draw you to his fight. He needs to draw you down to his level. He needs to draw you down to his platform. No, man, don't don't drink the Kool Aid. Don't fight from that location. Shut down the atmosphere. Shift the atmosphere. So that demon have no orders, he have no power, he has no authority, he has nothing to try to come against you. First of all, the devil doesn't have authority over the believer, but he has a scheme and a plan and a plot against you. But if you fight him from here and you shut down the atmosphere, Jesus spoke to the storm, to the atmosphere of the storm, and he shut it down. You can speak to the atmosphere over your life. You can speak to the atmosphere of what's going on today. Because you see, this, this is the blessing of the Lord that God has given us the authority. We speak life and death. Proverbs 18, 21. We have the authority to speak into darkness. We have the authority to shut the devil, shut him down. And we have the authority to tramp up with scorpions and, and, and snakes and everything that poses the will of God against your life. Amen, brothers and sisters. Win the fight.
made Jesus Christ proud. Conquer your deliverance. Conquer your deliverance so that devil won't come back and fight you again. God is good. He's with you. Who could be against you? He blessed you and who could curse you? He's walking with you. Who can trip you up or take away your purpose and your destiny? The devil will lie to you. He will lie to you. He will convince you. He will tell you things that you sound believable. But great is he that lives in you, that he that lives in the world. The devil is a liar. The fight is already won. It's established in your life. Take your atmosphere, shift the atmosphere, and let that devil know that you know spiritual warfare at your best. Praise be God that I'm able to pour something into you today. I thank God for the e-courses. I even put the link up there. If the Lord touches your heart and you need to sign up and take something that will make your arm in dangerous, do it today. Blessed be, your, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be God over your life. In Jesus' mighty, awesome name. Amen, my brothers and sisters. Rejoice. Be jo rejoice. Listen, don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let the devil steal your peace. Don't let, don't let the devil steal your opportunity to bring glory to God in Jesus' name. I'm here, in, I'm here in Oklahoma, beautiful place. I'm here at Lake Church, awesome Pastor Greg, all the wonderful people here at this service, all the people that came from everywhere. I am rejoicing. I mean, the weather's cold. It was 11 degrees, but, you know, I'm a New Yorker. So, you know, New Yorker people, we can handle this kind of weather. I'm going to give you a view of the weather. I'm here at the hotel. I'm waiting. They're going to pick me up in a little bit. I'm getting ready because it's going to be the last night. I mean, we're going to turn the devil into a piñata party tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We told him we're going to beat the devil like he stole something. We're going to come at him like he never seen it before. Because one thing about the Lord Jesus Christ, he has called you. Thank you for the people that signed up for the e-course. He has called you to be the unknowns. The unknowns are the ambassadors, are the vessels of honor that the devil know nothing about. That when they show up to the fight, it'll be too late for the enemy because we got them by the throat. And we are the winners. We are the champions. We are the victorious ones because Jesus has paid the price for you and I. And the only job we got is to make them proud. And we will in Jesus' name. Check out the weather. I mean, I'm not the weatherman. Please don't uh, call me the weatherman. I'm not the weatherman, but I'll give you a glimpse of the weather here. But I don't care about the weather. I'm about souls and setting the captive free for Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ, the one and only. Amen. Check out the weather. That is the weather here in Oklahoma. But praise be to God, the fire of Jesus Christ is coming tonight. And the devil's going to know we're going to have a barbecue. Amen. Ain't going to be us because we're the saints. We're the ambassadors. We're the vessels of honor for our Lord Jesus Christ. Rejoice. I hope you sign for the e-course. I hope you sign up and make it part of your arsenal. Love you guys. Love you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for accepting me to be part of the body of Christ from where I came from. I came from an ugly place. I came from a demonic place. I came from a place that was hell. But I thank God for the brothers, true brothers and sisters that love me, embrace me, and believe in the calling that God put in my life and believe in the ministry. Thank you so much. Love you right back. In Jesus' name, amen.